Hey, I didn't see you there. Happy Wednesday. So today we're going to talk about the, in regards to traumas, traumas that we at some point in our lives have gone through it and our sexual trauma, physical, emotional, home invasion, mental, family trauma, and the grief and shame behind it all. So I'm going to start with family trauma. I have endured that. I mean, I, my first husband was someone very dear to me and I lost him. He was at the age of 49. I mean, at the age of 49, you're young and it's, it's someone that I was married to for actually close to 15 years and the father of my children. So this person, even though I'm not with him, I wasn't with him anymore. When he was, we went through his, his sickness, he was someone that holds a special part in my heart and, and being the father of my kids, you know, it's someone that I felt that he wasn't going to be there for my children in the long term, that my children were going to grow up without a father and that eventually he wasn't going to be able to meet his grandkids. So it was, it's kind of hard for me to see my children going through, through this and seeing my daughter crying at times and calling me that she missed her, her father and the trauma of my son going through his drug addiction because of losing his child. And actually he took care of, of my ex-husband for that year and a half that he was sick. I asked him to please stop working and actually take him to the doctor's appointment because at that point his current wife had left him. We didn't want to deal with that and just left him at his mom's house. So I would make sure that I said, listen, dedicate this, this time for your father because he won't hear, he won't be here in the future. And this is the time that you have to be with him. Little did I know that that was going to take a toll on my son and it was going to take him to the edge. So it's, it's things that we have to deal with, but it's trauma that even now I'm talking about it and it still hurts because it's someone that was special to me. It was a person that I care and I was in love with and he's not here with us. And yes, it took a toll on me. It took a toll on me that I had to get therapy and it helped me through it and helped me to help my children. So it, it's something very important that we all should go through it and seek help and talk to friends to help you. You know, in a way that experience helped me to be stronger, helped me to, to realize that um, we could be here one day and we could not be here one day. And that we have to cherish every moment that we have with our family, with our children, make the best of it and, and cherish that because we don't know if we're going to be here today or tomorrow, what could happen. And yes, it made me maybe stronger because it realized that I can overcome a lot of emotions. I can, over, I can control myself and I'm able, um, to, to help others go, those that are, that are in grief and those that have lost family members. I can, I can help them through my experience that I went through. And it's not easy. It's not easy losing someone that you care for and losing um, someone that's important to your children, like the father or the mother. So, so, you know, it's, it's, it's tough, but, but I can tell you that you can overcome anything, you know, that you, if you're strong and, and, and you, you're going to be able to, to move forward, but it's always going to be there. It's still going to times that you're hearing a mute, a song and you remember the good times or the sad times and you're going to cry and you have to cry because you have to be able to, to surpass that. You have to be able to go through those feelings. 